Welcome back, guys. If you're just joining us, remember to join the conversation on Facebook, Twitter, and via email. You can also watch episodes of the show on YouTube at youtube.com forward slash Ebony Life TV. Time now for today's top five. You sound really and gentle. I don't understand. What's yes. happening? He's trying I'm to be I'm very soft. Guy. Mm. We're talking style and fashion today, so I'm trying to piss myself. He's trying something Sounds new. Sounds smart, you know. It's stylish. Yeah. Anyway. Okay. Our top five today is on yeah. top five fits, fits grammars. No, no fits to grammars. Better than fits to grammys. Well, that's the multiple of fits to grammars. No, it's. So, fits to. <laughs> Fit, fit, fit accounts on no. Instagram. Sister. Yes, a fitness fit, account on Instagram. Instagrammer, mm -hmm. which is AKA a um, just a fitness account on Instagram, somebody who's pushing Whose for healthy. Whose account is dedicated to yes. fitness yes. and to giving fitness tips. fitness and healthy yes. living and giving yes. tips. Yes. Yes. So, oh, I know lots in good, at yeah, number five, you're not actually looking at me, you know you're dating. I am. <laughs> She's, She's like there. No, I'm yeah. looking at you. No, you're not. <laughs> I don't understand. Now you're looking at me. Now you're looking at her. Say the list. The anyway, Save so the list. in at number five is um, Fit Men Cook. Yeah, I like him. Fit so Men Cook? Yes. Yeah. Is he a cook or a fit guy? He's, he's a both. fit guy. Um, he's a guy that, cook. you know, had a lot of weight to begin with and then just went on a clean, healthy diet and worked out a bit. Then he stopped kind of like focusing on the whole workout part and eventually started showing people some of these recipes that he had. Yeah. Um, and it's become very popular. Yeah. He's done like some TV and yeah. I get some of my recipes from him actually. Yeah, he has really cool 15 second videos. He yes, actually packs in a lot. And I like him also because he, 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 he Instagrams his whatever in English. And, then and in Spanish. He does a translation in Spanish right below it, which is good because it helps me anyway. So yes. Number four. Number four <laughs> is, Adura underscore O. Yeah. Um, she is our Monday fitness lady. Yes. Whoop, whoop. What's up, Adura? And she's all about healthy living. She should, she, why is she not number loss. one? This is not a this list by numbers. It's just people. Oh, okay. Yeah. Healthy living, fat loss tips, and um, personal training, and of course, yoga. The woman is very skilled in yeah. yoga. She actually, eventually, she, she's done a separate... Um, account for her for yoga, yoga, which she calls Yoga Dura. So okay. like Yoga Dura, Yoga Dura. And she just does amazing things with yoga. Mm. Mm. Every time I do yoga, something bad happens. Like they what? stop. The f I, exactly, that's why I don't do yoga. <laughs> I've hurt myself like twice, and the first time I ever did yoga, I actually got robbed. And I know <laughs> that it's not because I did ro yoga. You got robbed from where you were doing it? Yeah, I was in the gym, and I, was, I went to a yoga class. I was convinced to go to a yoga class. Did you not put your stuff in the locker? I did, number and three, I locked guys, it, and they three. broke into my... Okay, number three <laughs> is 300 my fitness. guy. Yes. Is my guy. Um, no. Okay. Everybody can't be your guy. My guy. You're dating Charlie, him? Charlie, who runs 300 Fitness. Yeah. Um, so Charlie's very obsessed with, you know, the body, healthy living, and just like calisthenics calisthenics yeah. and he's very he's taught he's literally just taught himself how to do mm -hmm. all of those things by mm -hmm. just being bored in his room sometimes yeah and it looks really cool yeah and he's nice and muscular mm. hi charlie love mm. to charlie he's yummy in at <laughs> number what number are we at two. <laughs> <laughs> number two is my home girl manco fit Ooh, Nana. Love she her. was in that video. She was in um, what's Trey his name again? Trey Song's video, video. Nana. Well, I'm so happy Ooh, you forgot Nana. his name. Yeah, I'm sorry. I'm not. No, don't be sorry. It's and um, so Manco is like a um, squatter. No, she <laughs> used to do. She used to run like go for competitions, like weight, um, like bodybuilding yeah, competitions. Body. She and then still? Oh, she, she does occasionally, but okay. not that much anymore. And now she's focused on her business and um, just looking good. Yeah, very hot. She's very she is, fit. She is very pretty. Yeah. She's very sexy. Yeah. And in at number one, mm -hmm. Lamide? Is um, oh, Ibuka's Ibuka. friend. Is Dade to Shelby. Is that the guy with the big thighs? Yeah, he's, he's also, he's a yoga calisthenics. He used to be an American footballer, yeah. which is like a contrast with yoga because yeah. American footballers are very hard, sort of hard and mm -hmm. stiff. But he had an injury that made him stop playing, so he took the he fitness took route and he's extremely flexible. It's shocking the kind of things he does. He does the human flag. Like he yeah. just does it. Oh, and yeah. Like Charlie does the play. Yeah, he stands on one hand. Like he's just insane. He t now he's, he, uh, he, and he, you watch him progress. Mm -hmm. I remember when he was trying to touch his head with his feet, like the back, oh, okay. with his hands mm -hmm. stand, but his legs would 
Oh, and we kept seeing the progress. It was here, then it was here, then it was here, and now he's oh. able to touch it. Like he's, he's amazing. Okay. He's amazing. With plenty, plenty of girls on his page. Do you have any? Marry you me. <laughs> yeah. Do you follow? Do you follow fitness accounts? Do you like fitness accounts? Um, or I, no? I, I don't want to overdo it. Uh -huh. So I have like two or three that I follow. Yeah. And I mostly not. I most they're not. Maybe one person's page who just does yeah, necessarily like of a fi fits. You know, there are some fitness pages that are just really over the top. Right. Yeah, I don't yeah. know if they don't do any of those. Okay. Well, hmm. Let's all keep fit, I guess. Follow them and get some yes. tips here or there. Yes. It's okay. time to meet our guest, is it? Yes, it is. And she is a stylist. She has her own fashion site as well. She is um, coming in here from Lagos. And very stylish. Very stylish. And um, she's also an entrepreneur. She has her own business. It's not today you watch she's got a fashion yeah, store. Finished. She's going to finish it. It's the lovely Ezine Chinkata. Chinkata. In the house. Chinkata. Okay. <laughs> what is she rocking? Come on. Woo! Uh -oh. Oh, wow. Wow. She's really Baby giving them. Dollish. I know. I love how like she is. Thank Thanks you. Thanks for coming. It's very cute. Okay. Welcome, welcome. welcome. Yeah, the little pro, I mean, well, that. not a pro yep. hooker. Thank right ahead. you. A little quiff thing <laughs> happening there. Because today we're doing a style episode. Look at this. They're stylish. I have no don't, don't, don't lie to them. Yeah, they are. Yeah. Just and he's watch the shopping. With small mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm shopping. <laughs> yeah, he's come shopping. to my store. Mm -hmm. yes. No, I haven't. I saw is this. I went to the store and then quickly left. Why? <laughs> because it's not it's the kind of store you go into and you're like, oh my god, that's so cute. Oh that's so cute. Oh that's so cute. And then you're like, my pockets are not cute because then they're empty. <laughs> but my so prices are cute. No way, some of them. What 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 kind of <laughs> what kind of store is it? It's like a little boutique. Okay. And I have a wide range of pieces for different body types okay. and personalities and a wide range of prices. But not all sexes. No, no, exactly. Males. No, I'm just, I'm just putting <laughs> it out there. Just so they know. I'm actually working on that. Yeah. Okay. They always say they, that. No, like, seriously. Like, always like an afterthought. No, and you guys buy. My point exactly. <laughs> I was thinking of it yesterday. I was like, guys, I need to get into that market. <laughs> <laughs> is, is there a heavy like vintage flair with the with the store? Because I know you do. Like, Everyone expects that. You do. Yeah, because when we look at you. We, yeah, that's what we I, look I at. Know no, you. but I don't look vintage. Do you know what? Everyone just thinks vintage. Even when I'm wearing traditional, they're like vintage. <laughs> it's like I'm wearing like something basic. They just assume it's vintage. I think yeah. I went through a vintage phase ages ago. Yeah. But it's stuck. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. Okay. Well, we're gonna go on a quick <laughs> pause, real quick, and then when we come back, we're gonna be talking about the style factor with the lovely Izzy Be stay tuned. Welcome back. You're still watching the spot. Hopefully, you've been tuned in so far. If not, well, this is the perfect time to join us. We are about to start our topic of the day, which is the style factor and we are joined by the very stylish Izine Chinkata. All right. Appearance. What do you like to be called the most stylist? What's your yeah. um, preferred image consultant? Oh. Image consultant. No. Okay. What's Apart oh. from that fashion consultant to be fashion honest because it's more broad. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah. okay. Okay. That's what it says on my card. <laughs> <laughs> okay, cool. Yeah. Okay. So um yeah, so I mean we're talking the style factor and I think that um Especially in Africa now, with the way you know we we've, we've become so creative, or our creativity is, is coming out more and more. Everything is there's always a style aspect to everything. Like, how do you find that? Like, is that a do you find that people are coming into their own personal style more, or they're kind of like taking bits of other people and just saying, okay, this is my style? What do you think? I think that Nigerians have always been very stylish. I agree. We've always been yeah. into fashion, beauty, style, but I think that now the attention is more on it. Mm -hmm. So it's just more obvious, yeah. but we've always, with like the whole African rising, designers being more on the spotlight, it just shows, but we've always been very, very fashionable. Yeah. So What's your new. personal style? I know you say people know you for vintage, but what do you, what do you think, what is your style if you had to describe it? Do you it? like that question? I don't like that question. <laughs> I'm just, whenever it's I get asked it's it, annoying what's your style? I'm just like... Because people... I, I have already. Yeah. But when, do, you when have, um, do you have an answer for it? Yeah. Maybe because I don't have an answer for it, so I never know. Yeah, and then they, they make it seem like I should have a style. Yeah. My style is, oh. is in a style. It depends <laughs> oh. on how I That's feel in the morning. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I can rock anything. I'm not boxed in a corner. I can do anything I'm comfortable with. Okay. And I might insist I won't do this tomorrow, and then it appeals to me tomorrow. So I'm very flexible. 
But even at that, don't you think it's important to have an identity? Like what, I mean, yeah, have a style that so that when they see, they say, okay, this is. This is yeah. But then that is, that is some sort of, some form of identity. Like nobody Not, not having an identity? Yeah, in a, in a crazy way. Nobody looks the same every no. day. Well, um, but I guess that if some women... people do no, some people do. Oh, sorry to interrupt mm -hmm. you. I was going to say like um, Simon Cowell. You always, know. I mean, you might not call it style. That's but not style. Dresses, it's like a uniform for him. Um, Mark Zuckerberg, he does the gray T-shirt and jeans. You know, because that's his style. Because he said he doesn't want to be distracted by other things. He just wants to kind of have that streamlined look or whatever. And that's his his own style identity. I but I guess that even with anything I find interesting, mm -hmm. it would still have my basic stamp. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah. Which would still look vintage, maybe? <laughs> <laughs> it would still look like how I put things together. Mm -hmm. So I guess I'm flexible, but I would still generally put things in the same way. Let's get back to the Nigerian question. Now, I know you mm -hmm. said Nigerians are very stylish, and a lot of people actually agree. Mm -hmm. We, I don't know where we got that title from. I think we gave it to ourselves. The most stylish woman in Africa or something yes, or in the world. <laughs> but do you honestly think we're doing well? I mean, well, let's go into the detail now. You look at the red carpet pictures we always have. Mm -hmm. what, do you, what always jumps at you whenever you look at them? Good, fair, or eh, scary? Mm. Well, a combination of all of them. <laughs> yeah. Mm, I try not to judge. Interesting. I think that's the word. Is like, okay. Oh, she's there now. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> oh, she went that way now. Oh, okay. Cool. Like, it's very, it's good. Are there people you see that excite you every time? Maybe not every time, but most times when you see them, you're like, yes. Yeah, they're going to come correct. She did it again. Nigeria, yeah. Africa. Yeah. Like who? Nigeria, Africa. Yeah, Anywhere, whoever. Yeah, yeah. Oh, Anywhere. God, everyone has it. Okay, so I should name. Zainab mm -hmm. always looks cool. Aww. Oh, thank you. So does Lamy Day. No. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's okay. You don't have to say that. <laughs> but what if she means it? No. And Apuka always has some really nice tight suits. You know. <laughs> yeah. There we go. I'm like, oh, he's there again. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but generally, Nigerians are really. Echo is good. Yeah. There's Eku. I like Eloho because she's always okay. classic. Yeah. Mm. But she yeah. always looks very, I feel like she never really has anything out of place. Yeah, even as she's very classic. Put yeah. yeah. So you see, that's her style and mm -hmm. it works. Mm. Mm. I mean, so many people. It's a lot yeah, the, the of people, people in people. fashion mm -hmm. always say people like that are not considered fashion icons or style, yeah, stylish. We don't, because I they don't, don't take risks. I don't think we have a. Um, like, because they don't take risks. You talk about Eloho and I say she always plays it safe. Is that, no, a, is that a way to I look at it? She, I, I don't think no, she's saying you said that. I'm safe. just saying. Yeah, I think she saying. just has a classic look. look. Style, okay. She wouldn't, I don't think Eloho will wear this dress. Okay. You know, yeah. with the sleeves. Okay. Yeah. She likes yeah. clean lines. Yeah, she likes maybe, clean lines, but okay. they are still very, they look appealing. Still very pretty. Yeah. And pretty, yeah. but just classic. Okay. We so put yeah. together. For me, I would say, yes, we like to look good here. Um, but I don't, I think we only have a small number of people who are still very much individuals fashion wise. I think what we do a lot is we, we look outside and then we see, oh, a trend. Yeah, I kind of like either trends or people okay. where we're, em we're constantly emulating celebrities. I mean, Kim <laughs> Kardashian is like a oh, fashion goddess over here to a lot of the young well, girls. Yes, because they relate to the body. I actually body. think that Nigerian girls have a certain look yeah. that appeals to Nigerian men. <laughs> The long hair. Girl. Yeah. yeah they that, have the look. Tight look. dresses. Mm -hmm. So no. they have a style. That, is, that isn't us, though. That has been appropriate. It has become us. It <laughs> has become us, but I don't think it's something that we... Us was um, jeans and um, yeah, things pink evolved. tops, pink shoes, like matching, like that's... Yeah, but then when, people could say that that's, that was a 90s, um, 90s UK US style phase, where you have yeah. a matching, mm -hmm. oh, this that's must match, saying. this must we match, this must have, match, this. I can't, if I was to say, let me just put together a Nigerian woman, like there were a bunch of clothes and mm -hmm. you had to dress her up into something, I wouldn't know what to put on her that, that, is, a stamp. that is her. Yeah, that is a stamp. For her. It probably won't be Niger um, any of this clothing there. I mean, okay, I'll go so traditional. Ma maybe we know. shouldn't use the word fashionable. We should use the word vain. <laughs> <laughs> Nigerians are vain. Mm -hmm. yeah. Even if they're in this look that is no stamp, it's still yeah. full on glam. Mm. Yeah. yeah. So I think. We are full on glam. I yeah, can't I, you know, I, I remember yeah. doing this. I think that's the word. They are all very vain. Even mm. if you think what they're wearing is not cool, mm. yeah. they still go all out. Yeah. They're still all about. They obsess about beauty, appearance, hair. 
Mm -hmm. Nigerians are all about that. Okay, mm -hmm. yeah. well, you guys out there, let us know what you think. If we Nigerians are all about the glam vainness, well, we're going to go on another break. When we come back, we'll be discussing a little bit more about the style factor. Welcome back to the spot, guys. If you're just joining us, we're talking about the style factor. We have Izin Nechinkata in the house mm. with us. Did I called it right, right? Very. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, so I wanted to ask a question. There's something we've talked about a few times on this show, mm -hmm. but I don't know that we've ever gotten a, a, an answer to it. I don't know if we're going to get one from you. And we're talking seasons and how mm. we get influenced mm. in Africa. We mm -hmm. don't have four seasons here, so we don't do the fourth, whatever, whatever, you know, mm -hmm. that happens over there. <laughs> do you think we should have that? here and if we do how do you how does it get dictated eventually i mean we have fashion shows or fashion weeks yeah. here so how does it even work mm. do you think we should have seasons we can't have seasons but it, it, will, it will be nice for us all to for the fashion world to be universal mm -hmm. and for everyone to churn out something yeah, yeah. to so that designers to are follow the seasons however obviously our winter collection <laughs> <laughs> would not be winter. I think it should be like brat tops. <laughs> yeah, it would just be. I, I think that it might just be like a difference in color, okay, schemes. Okay. Mm. But I think that we should be able to follow mm. the, the global, the global, of, um, yeah, outline. Okay. It's really for the designers and the market they want to reach. Yeah, because if we want to be able to compete in the global yeah. platform, we should be able to have like the same, sh you know. So how do you think fashion? Sorry, how do you think fashion weeks here are doing? There's Nigeria, there's Mercedes Benz in SA, there's yeah. the Glitz in Ghana. Tanzania, How do you think they're all doing? Yeah, all those. Which one? The one here? Or in Africa, like across the continent. Africa. 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 Pictures you see, it's the one getting, that attended. It's getting yeah. better and better. We're growing. African fashion is growing and it's getting better every year. Yeah. LFDW finished recently and then yeah. the Mercedes Benz one in South Africa as well. Yeah. And I think it was really good. Because Maya Tafo yeah. from Nigeria went, yes. and it was he just kept going he on just and on. It. <laughs> he did. Went did on you on. see it? Yeah. I did. Oh my God, Mai is vain. Yeah. <laughs> no, my dog. Selfies on the runway. Oh, no, no, no. That was LFDW. <laughs> in, in, in the method. He actually. Yeah. He walked. Yeah. He walked, oh, he and then walk. he did this James Bond <laughs> thing. I was like, Mai walks. Mai just likes to be, like it's him. But it was really good. I and think the, it's what he does. And the 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 viewers were very positive. They were like, Oh, the Nigerian guy was so good, and their show looks really, really well put together yeah, of course. so they it was i think they were good lfdw was good as well mm -hmm. it's it's it gets even it's it gets growing. better every year yeah. it was very interesting i was very very impressed with nigerian designers mm. i felt like so many of them have come full circle yeah. like mm -hmm. their pieces were like i was like ah Nigerians. Mm. Who, who, who are some of your favorite? I mean, oh no, don't put nah. me there. <laughs> I'm, so have to call everybody. No, <laughs> I'm so going to be on the fence, but no. they all did so well. Okay, they did. It's so hard. Mm -hmm. I have to. I can't even. I think when I came into the industry first, I was like, ah. but now I know it's so hard to put a collection together. Mm -hmm. And I must say, the designers went to work. You yeah. you would look at a collection and you know they thought so hard. Yeah. It wasn't like a one month collection. Mash it up, took a up. while. Nigerians have talent. Africa has talent. Yes, we, so do. we do. We do. And fashion is good. It makes fashion is such a strong tool. Mm -hmm. People think it's just vain, but it actually is life. What I mean is it can make you happy, it mm -hmm. can change your mood. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It can define you. Mm -hmm. You can have fun through fashion. You can be you can kick out depression through fashion. <laughs> yeah. So it's a great way to empower women and men. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I like how you give me the same idea. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> women and men. Like a quick, yeah. uh, a good dress up session. Yeah. Um, for me, I would say that uh, another thing that we're starting to get used to is the difference between fashion and style. Because mm -hmm. they are two yeah. very different things. How, yeah. do, please differentiate them. Fashion is, um, it's external. It's what the world tells you is fashionable and what looks great. Um, style is internal. It's how you take that thing and then put it on yourself and make it work okay. and put yourself out. As a so how do you say so, if someone is fashionable, they are in season? Yes, basically. Really? Is that it? Do you, that? do you agree with not, that? Not in what season in terms of the seasons, spring, summer, autumn. Yeah, they're in season they're, in terms they're of they're in vogue okay. kind okay. of thing. But to stylish me is more... Stylish is... For somebody I would say is stylish... Um, I'd say Eku is stylish because even though what you put on the runway she's wearing, she's wearing it in Eku's way, if you know what I mean. Mm. Eku Edo. Um, somebody that's fashionable, I'd say Eloho is fashionable because Eloho wears, she wears a lot of runway pieces and 
but she doesn't quite tweak them to, they work for her in the way that you see them on the runway kind of thing. Hmm. That's hmm. my, that's the way I would take it. I don't know the difference. So. Well, what do you think is But the I can difference? see where you're what going with it. As in style I mean, is more, yeah. yeah what's I think the difference I between fashion and style for you? I disagree with Zainab because mm -hmm. I feel like Zainab feels like you have to tweak it for it to mean his style. Mm -hmm. okay. No, you have, to do, you have to wear it the way you want to wear it. Not necessarily tweak, but it has mm. to work. It has to work for you. Yeah, like, I could wear that dress and I would wear it with, like, maybe a blazer on top because I don't want to show the arms. Mm -hmm. You've done it in yours. That's, that's your style. Whereas mine is, I'm going to wear it with a blazer and just take it down a notch because I'm a, I'm a take it down kind of. I don't want too much attention. Whereas some, you walked in here and we was like, wow, yeah. kind of thing. It, it, so it was the, different. But there's a definition of style and fashion. Does that work from the way she described it? Almost. How would you differentiate <laughs> it? No, I mean, it's different for everyone, I think. Yeah. It's just it. I guess, I guess it's, I would just say fashion is, I won't necessarily say fashion is what people dictate. I, th I just think fashion is what's out there. Okay. Fashion is out there, your, the pieces. Mm -hmm. And then style is from inside, like she said, yeah. style is your interpretation of, of what is out there, uh -huh, even okay. irrespective of what they say it oh, is. Okay. It's just how you take it and how you yeah. put it together. Okay. Okay. And everyone doesn't have to. But the thing is, not everyone knows what their style is. Yeah. And you have to understand that as well. <laughs> mm -hmm. So it's just the individual. That's where style is coming. Mm. Yes. Let's talk about the men for a bit. How, mm -hmm. how, what's it's we're going to take a break. <laughs> First. <laughs> and um, so we'll, I'll let you think about it. And let us know how the men here are doing as well and what you like to see differently. Men's I don't know fashion that, you know. is easy. Yeah. <laughs> some so lucky. For some people, it's not. <laughs> we'll take a quick break and we'll be right back. Hello and welcome back to The Spot. And we're still in the house talking about the style factor with the gorgeous Miss Esme. Yes. And uh, before the break, uh, Ibuka was asking about menswear and what you thought, you know, how... What do you thought about men in Africa and how stylish they were? Do, do they have style? Are they getting better? How are they doing? They're okay. <laughs> I think men... <laughs> Doesn't sound convinced. They're all right. They have just, I think they... Men's way is boring, I know. No, it's there's, not. There's very few you can, this you can do with it compared boring. to... I think they have the... I think now it's getting very interesting. They have like the two... Two looks. Two, <laughs> no, 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 not two looks. They have the edgy guys that have come up now. I haven't mm -hmm. you seen them? that do the shorts. Mm -hmm. They have like the and fashion the pack. Yeah, <laughs> yes. <laughs> and then they have the, the classic pack. Maya Tafo suit wearers. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Are you looking the, at the, the tight and suits the, and the, the um, ties. The yeah. 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 Okay, then they have the guys that are going into the native. Okay. Yeah. I think men's wear is actually a bit easy, but Nigerian men are well dressed. I think yeah. they are alright. Yeah. They never look ridiculous, well. except when they wear tight t-shirts with big tummies. <laughs> Thank you. I was gonna say <laughs> and belts. Oh, you can't you know see, see that. What, ah, you what, see what look I, I can't see, stand well. <laughs> on a man is the the boot cut jeans. Boot cut jeans were designed by like the enemy himself. Stop talking about Banky W. I am wow, not. Wow, he doesn't wear, he doesn't wear boot cut boot jeans. jeans. <laughs> Anymore, <laughs> Lamy Gay. I hope you watch like, this episode. <laughs> with a shirt and then like this really huge Belts, buckled belt. Buckle. Sounds like Elvis Parsley. Yeah. No, Something but like that. there are people out there wearing, and I hate that look with a passion. I hate okay. it. But it's not, I don't, I haven't seen anyone in boot cut jeans though. You haven't? Some, some still do. Some people still do. Now? Really yes. I know one, but I can't say his name. Because he will kill. I know one. Can we go to the show me around? Yes, let's do that. There's something that we like to do. It's called, we don't get worry, in we trouble. finished talking about style for now. Um, there's something that we like to do called social media roundup. That's when we get like our feedback from our viewers on social mm -hmm. media and then we just share. We just read it out and respond. Okay, so first up is from Barry Mweze on Twitter. She says, in other news, who saw Ibuka dance on the spot <laughs> last night? Kai, didn't know dude could dance so. He can dance. He's a stepper. Okay. He's a stepper. Another Twitter comment was from underscore, wait, from Miss underscore Amy Wine. Uh -uh. The program happens to be a Amy must Wine watch on DSTV. Great work, guys. Zainab, I love your hairstyle. Mm. She doesn't have it. She just has a look of. Thank you. You're a hater. <laughs> you are. And the what last is one is from I Am Toby. It says, <laughs> this is a Buka guy too, like food <laughs> Because <laughs> he's always like, hey, Buka, your love for food is legendary on this show. But I'm not eating. That's why we didn't stock the fridge because yeah, we don't like bother. Months. He just eats everything. Are you serious? Yes, yes indeed. Yes. 
All right, well, from that social media um, little roundup, we're going to go ahead and switch off to something a little bit stylish. Ebuka went on a splurge to Diesel. Diesel. Let's check it out. Hey guys, you're welcome to The Splurge and today we are at the Diesel store at the Central Mall in Lekki, Lagos. I know when you think about spending a lot of money, you never think about a casual look, but today we're going to show you how to splurge while looking casual, but still good. Come with me. by the manager of the diesel store here in Lagos. Bisoye, how are you doing? I'm fine, thank you. Looking very dashing. I love your hair. Thank but that's you not how I'm here today. <laughs> Let's talk a bit about fashion now and the sort of clients you have here. What sort of celebrities have you had coming here to shop? We've had a couple. Um, she mentioned a few. We've had yeah. Bovi. The Prince is a regular customer. We've had Basket Mounts. We've had Banky. We've had... Um, Mostly men, actually, because okay. now I'm trying to think of the lady. <laughs> <laughs> Mostly men, but then we've had a few. We've had a few. Let's talk about. I mean, I'm here to splurge, anyways, and I'm putting on a pair of jeans. Tell me about this pair of jeans first before we get to the price. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So these are jog jeans. They're, it's a new um, invention by Diesel, and it's it, it's made from jersey and jeans. So it's not. It doesn't feel like jeans when you wear it. It's really comfortable, but they're actually jeans and they look like jeans from the outside. Yeah, because it feels very soft. It doesn't feel like denim. Anymore. It's like your sweatpants. Okay. You know sweatpants, when you're in them, you're just yeah. so comfortable, you're relaxed. So that's the idea, but it's still, it's denim actually. So it's it's really creative for the diesel. And okay. that's why it's... Why is it a splurge? How much is this pair of jeans? Yes, it's 95,605 naira. <laughs> And that's why, that's why it's a splurge. Also because... Oh. Sorry, just take that again. 95, <laughs> yes, 95,000. 600 naira. And 5 naira. 600 and 5 naira. <laughs> Let's not forget the 5. Don't forget the 5. Are you kidding me? For a pair of jeans? But then, see how comfortable they are. You said so yourself. And you know, yeah. it's... They suddenly feel, don't feel very comfortable because <laughs> I don't want to damage them anymore. <laughs> you know, it's just the technology behind it that makes it. And then they last. It's not like, you know, after all, they make sure they last four years. It's still looking like this. So all that into it, the price has to show for it. Yeah. I'm just thinking of how many pairs of suits I can make with, <laughs> with that amount of money. Yeah, but I mean, it's diesel. So I'm sure, it's yeah, a, like you said, it's definitely going to last for a while. Wow, 95,000. 95, that's a lot of money. Well, thank you very much, Bisoye. Um, I'm going to take a look more around the stores to see if there's anything that catches my eye. Hopefully, my not doesn't catch my pockets. <laughs> <laughs> All right, no problem. You're welcome. It's been the splurge, guys. I hope you enjoy this one. So, if you have 95,000 naira, just walk into Diesel in Lagos and pick up a pair of those pants. I mean, it's something you can do for yourself, isn't it? We'll see you guys in a bit. <laughs> yeah, just 95k for a pair mm, of jeans. It's not too know. bad, is it? Not bad. Not for... bad at all, is it? Mm. <laughs> That's why it's a There's something I like there that, that I saw really, really nice. They have this little like side stools. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And like they have a carpet made out of denim. Oh. And it's all just denim, like awesome. back pockets. Oh, that's oh, cool. That's awesome. a mashup is beautiful. Is that for sale? You can, they can make it for you if you want. They make oh. it for you. Yeah. Or you can just cut out <laughs> your pockets just, of your old so, yeah, jeans. I, think, I, remember, and sew I can't it remember together. how much they told me it was. I was like, well. If I got like all my neighbors to give me old <laughs> to jeans, bring their OG. and I call those guys that scary things around, you will make it as well. <laughs> DIY queen, DIY. Of of, uh, no, but it was really mat. nice. It was really nice for your bedroom. It's really beautiful. Mm -hmm. What do you do, this way, man? What DIY do you do? She's like um, a DIY queen, actually. <laughs> DIY is anything. Sorry, I used to have an insert um, called DIY where I literally made everything from center table pieces to distressed jeans oh, to really? jewelry headbands aprons aprons iPod makeup holder. I you did make colored yes yeah, lip lip so you make stuff Girl, do you make I, dresses um i can probably like put together stuff. i can put together like a pattern but then i i can't so, so we should I be waiting so for you in the industry. Yeah. 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 Possibly. Investors. Zainab is coming to storm the fashion yeah. world. Zika tour. And then it will have style. Exactly. Yeah. It will be very It won't be fashion. It will be style. Yeah. Uh -huh. style. <laughs> All right, guys. Another break for us. And we'll be right back with a pet peeve or a sweet spot. Please stay tuned. Welcome back to the spot, guys. If you're just joining us, where have you been? The show is almost over. We've been hanging out with Izin there. She's been giving us fashion and style tips. 
I guess. Giving us that insight like, into the industry. Yeah. <laughs> well, there's something we like to do on the show um, at the end of every show called Pet Peeves or Sweet Spots, where we share something that either irritates us or something that makes our hearts smile. And today, Lamide has a pet peeve yes. for us. Okay, so is isn't it, you won't be angry, but this one is for, it's, it's, it's aimed at the stylists. <laughs> 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 you were not having any of it. I'll tell you what it is. It's actually not every stylist. It's just when um, you come across a stylist, like if you're doing a shoot or you you have a show, something like this, and there's a stylist, and it's a forceful stylist who is trying to make you wear Somebody things that else. are not you. you. You know what I mean? Okay. So when you say to them, "Oh, this is this is the vision I have for this." Uh, shoot. shoot. I want comfortable or I want high, I want, I don't know, right. couture, I want this, I want that. And they're like, okay, great. And then they send you a whole bunch of, or they try to make you wear a whole bunch of stuff that's just not you. You're not comfortable in it. That's not what you asked for. That's not what you wanted. And they just refuse <laughs> to kind of budge. But you it. look nice in it. That's yeah, not that's the point. There's a vision. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I hate that too. I am your vision. Yeah. When, when somebody <laughs> tries to just live through you. Yeah. Um, I remember she's, doing she's, a shoot She has a comeback once. somewhere. Do you have, oh yeah. <laughs> Maybe you were in a bad mood. No, no, do you know, I have nothing against like bringing, <laughs> I have nothing against bringing options We that love you. Yeah. That we you want looks to great. like. I don't want to wear I, booty shorts I want and a coat and a tank top. I want you to just like put this on, at least just put it on so that we just see what it looks like. Mm -hmm. There's nothing wrong with that. Mm -hmm. But then trying to basically tell me to wear a thong when I'm trying to like... Wear nuns outfit. Wear nuns, panties. yeah, wear granny panties or something. <laughs> it's just crazy. Yeah. I had a shoot once where um, this stylist came with these pants that were see-through. And I was like, I, I can't wear these pants like this <laughs> in this country where we are and shoot this thing. He's like, no, but you know, it's a magazine, you can do it. It's like, no, not at all. And he got really like offended. offended. So I was like, I'm, I'm sorry. Yeah. It, it's too much. Yeah. So mm. there we go. I don't know where you met these stylists, but <laughs> my stylist friends and the stylists I know are very understanding. Mm -hmm. They listen. Oh, yeah. no, for, they try for the to most convince part, actually, you nice in a nice way. One. Yeah. Well, I guess no industry is perfect. There we go. There we go. Do you have any pet peeves? It doesn't have to do with style. It could be, I don't know, traffic or bio. I don't know, whatever. It could be anything. Any pet peeves. Something that just gets on your nerves. Whew. So many. <laughs> Just give us one. People have so many pet peeves. Mm. Okay. What would I do? What pet peeve? Annoying flight attendants. Oh, oh this you is have one today. Fresh. That happened recently. Did that happen <laughs> yeah. recently? Okay. Yes, oh. today. What did she do? What did she do? It wasn't necessarily a flight attendant. They called us. I'm not saying the airline. Let me be nice. I'm that tempted. And we were waiting in front of the plane. Mm -hmm. And they just kept us waiting for like 40 minutes. And I had to. And everyone. Okay, maybe the tarmac? Okay, maybe I exaggerate. Yeah. I'm impatient, but maybe 15 minutes. And I was shocked. And I, no one said a word. And then I was like. Is there a reason we're here? Yeah. And they're like, just yes, standing. just standing. And they're like, yes, someone, they, um, one of their air hostesses left without saying, so oh. they were short staffed. Oh. And I was like, really though? Why and they didn't say anything. anything. And we were just standing there. The hot and then finally, yeah, hot sun. <laughs> <laughs> Especially for <laughs> yeah, I was thinking you got a bit of a tan. <laughs> <laughs> thank you so much for coming thank over. You. We've had a lot of fun, and guys, uh, thank you for tuning in. And I hope you've had a good time with us. We'll see you again soon. Bye. The spot was brought to you by Amstel Malta.